have our kookaburra family here tonight. I was sitting inside and they started with the kookaburra laugh. They were calling me, weren't you guys? So I thought I'd better come out and feed you. I've got the packet of food here. This is just uh, it's dog food, little chicken balls, but they love it. All right, let me just tip some out. Hopefully it won't all roll away. Oh, you got one, did you? I'm going to do it one-handedly. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Trying to tip it out onto the railing. There we go. Not doing a very good job. I'm dropping them. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. I'll back up a little bit. There you go. You got one? I think that packet's empty. I'm going to have to get another packet for the dogs. You want one too? Oh, it's a bit big for you. Oh, you're dropping them everywhere. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Do you want one? What would you like? You're only a little thing. Noisy miner. Oh, you're going to try and get that one, are you, that's on the ground? It's too big for you. Are you going to try anyway? No, it's a bit big. He's going to have a go at one of these. <laughs> Where did he go? Gone. <laughs> ah, they keep me amused, these birds. Okay, kookaburras, come on. Come on down. There you go. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. You gonna let me pat you? <laughs> Not really. And sometimes they let me touch them on their head, but they're not impressed. Here comes another one. Eat and run. <laughs> milk. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called milk paint. Anyway, I'm going to have a play with that today. I have mixed for my white, I've mixed equal parts of Artist Loft with milk paint and then I've mixed that one-to-one -one with Floetrol. So those are quite thin so I've mixed them one-to-one. -one. I have then got my Liquitex Basics. Uh, this one is light blue permanent, that's that one there. This one is aqua or bright aqua green. And then this one is deep green, medium magenta. This one, I ran out of um, dioxys in purple, so I've used deep violet with just a tiny little bit of black. So I've run out of my phthalo blues and my dark purples, and I just I wanted to try the milk paint, so I've just kind of made some paints that I'm hoping are going to work. In this green, I put half a bottle of the Deco Art Metallic Aquamarine. Bought a few of these, or probably about 50 of these about a year ago, and I'm just trying to use them up. When I did my rose gold cloud pour, the metallic reacted a lot, so I've popped a little bit of that in. And with the Deco Art of the Metallics, Oh, get it right, woman. The Liquitex Basics. I've added three parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics because um, it, they're quite thick. Righto. Now, I don't want to have that big white centre. So I'm going to try and do... I'm going to show the consistency of this. So this is three parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics. And it leaves a little mound. It's pretty much the same consistency that I would do my flip cup pours for. Maybe a little bit thinner, but it still leaves a mound. It may still be too thick, I'm not sure. So let's pour some of that in. 
Now I'm going to need about three quarters of a cup of this. And I pour some of that in. Some green. I won't use too much of that. I think it's going to be quite, it's going to take over quite a lot. Um, I'm going to put the light green next. And then the light blue. And then I want to finish off with some more purple. And then what I want to do is with this white is just drop it in from up high. And then I'm going to put the white around the outside as well. So hopefully I've got enough white in there. As I said, I didn't want that big white circle in the middle that you tend to get if you start with white. Um, sort of like this, this sort of thing. You know, you always get that white, big white blob in the middle. It looks like a big slug. <laughs> so, see if I can get the same sort of effect. Oh, look at that. There's a cell on top just by pouring it in from up high. Don't want to destroy that pretty little cell. So once I've poured it out, then I'm going to put some white around the outside. Or maybe I should put some around there first, just in case. I'll do that, and then I can spread it out later, just in case this goes too far. I've probably got too much paint here. I'll kind of do little, little rings, kind of a little ring pull. Oops, oh look, there goes my magenta. Okay, well that's pretty, isn't it? Very nice. Okay, now I'm just going to pour what I've got left of this around here and I think I've got way too much paint. Where's my little tool? I guess from pouring the white in up high it's kind of pushed all the paints together and they've blended a little bit which is really nice. But it's an experiment we shall see what happens. I think if your Liquitex Basics is too thick your little white cells from the milk paint won't be able to pop through. That's the trouble I had when I was using the satin enamels if my um, Liquitex Basics was too thick. I got really small little cells or none at all. I had to just keep practicing, have a little bit of a play around with it until I got the right consistency. Okay, let me give that a bit of a torch. sign when I've already got a few little cells popping up. I don't know that you can call them cells as such because you know there's no silicone in there and they're not sort of multi-coloured rings that traditionally are cells. So maybe they're just clouds, bubbles. And I don't want to go over the edge just yet. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre card or 12 by 16 inch card that I use. I just want to stretch this out and see if I can get the paint moving. I like to move it, move it. Oh, this is really pretty, you guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Never would have thought to put green and pink together, but as I said, I've run out of my blues. Oh, so pretty. And it looks as if I've got the consistency right because I've got those white cloudy things coming up. Let's torch it again now that I've moved it around a little bit more. And I personally think it's pretty having the white dots around rather than all that in the middle. But that's just me. Righto, now we'll go off to the corners. Don't want to lose all this pretty blue. Plenty of paint. And the other thing is too, once your cells start appearing, if you keep tilting too much, they lose their pretty shape. 
So you don't want to over tilt them either. So sometimes, you know, you might think, well, maybe I should just tilt quickly and then when the cells come up, leave them because they'll be pretty shapes. Or do you tilt first? Uh, sorry, torch first, get the cells up, then you torch and tilt. Um, but then they kind of stretch out. So you decide which way you want to go, I guess. Oh, loving these colours. I should do a flip cut pull with these colours. Whoops, I'm trying to lift that corner up, sticking my finger in it instead. How pretty is that dark area there? Bit of a focal point, isn't it? I put quite a lot of the dark purple in the bottom of the cup as a focal point. Now see, this is where the problem is. You keep stretching and you lose your, your pretty cell shape. And then they turn more into pillows or clouds rather than cells, don't they? Because they've lost their round shape. Clean that off. Look at this magenta background here, and it's got the green cells in the in it. And then you've got this dark background here with the white cells. That's really pretty. I haven't got much in the way of those little white bubbles that have come up. You know the ones that came up earlier I was kind of hoping for them to come up around the outside but maybe they still will oh there's a couple a couple there we'll see what happens maybe they won't I don't know I think it all comes down to color choice as well you know maybe they only come react with a certain color because they're not really reacting with the um, the magenta the pale magenta They are reacting here in this darker magenta. Anyway, I'll give it a little while. I might put the video on pause and just wait um, half an hour and, and see what happens. Because this is all growing here, isn't it? This white. I don't want it to grow too much and overtake the whole thing. It's really interesting. I've actually got some pink lacing here. The white ones are popping up here we're getting a few up the edges here where the paint's rubbed over when it's gone over the edges probably find if I tilted more I would get more reactions see this oh they are starting to come up look at that all right I'll just leave it and see what happens um, I'm really liking those colors didn't put a lot of the white through did I just poured a little bit in from up high and it's getting a good reaction so I'm just going to stop that and I'll come back to it in about I don't know we'll see what happens in 10 minutes okay guys it's only been about 10 minutes um, not a lot of activity around the edges here but this section has grown a lot um, we've got more in here they've grown so yeah it wasn't exactly what I was expecting um, I still probably have to change my consistencies a little bit still got quite a lot of paint left over so I may well do another one uh, and maybe instead of layering I may just pour each color in from up high and maybe cut down on this green. I actually didn't use very much of it at all. It's very reactive, isn't it? So, um, yeah, but it's really pretty, really pretty. Really like the, um, the dark purple with this magenta and the green together. Hmm, so there you go. Milk paint. Makes lovely little clouds, doesn't it? I right, hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, I just ordered the milk paint online through eBay. Um, yeah, that's how I got that. So yeah, have a go. It's fun. <laughs> I'll see you for the next one.
Bye for now.